My funded project is a 16 millimeter experimental film called Speaking in Tongues. Uh, Speaking in Tongues is my interpretation of mumbo jumbo, Ishmael Reed's novel about Jess Grew, a psychic anti-plague characterized by ebul ebullience and ecstasy. Uh, symptoms include mediocrity and tolerance, chronic questioning of authority, and uncontrollable shaking of the hips and ass. <laughs> African Americans uh, in the novel are known as Just Grew Carriers. When Just Grew threatens to spread across the U.S., a secret society known as the Wallflower Order attempts to stop it. Speaking in tongues is still in the planning stages, uh, so I want to show you a clip from an earlier film I made called Reckless Eyeballing. Uh, this clip will give you a general sense of some of the methods I'm going to use to make speaking in tongues. In this clip, you will see images from Foxy Brown and Birth of a Nation that I re-photographed with an optical printer onto high contrast black and white film. So with speaking in tongues, I want to build upon and further experiment with the approach that I used to make reckless eyeballing. I will use re-photography, photochemical processes, and handmade alterations of the film strip to create ecstatic explosions of flickering light and shadow that will dance across the screen as if the film itself has been infected with Jess Grew. Uh, the sound design of the film include looped audio from some of the films I will use as source material, layered with police radio transmissions, police sirens, Richard Nixon's law and order speech, and warnings about the spread of diseases. Speaking in tongues will reference the conflict between the freedom of just grew and the repression of the wallflower order with original and appropriated footage from Hollywood films, cartoons, uh, educational films, TV commercials, and many other sources. Now, I'm going to show you some stills to represent specific scenes um, or ge the general type of moving images that I'm going to transform with the optical printer and other techniques. The first three uh, stills represent the wallflower order. This is the logo that Universal Pictures uh, used between 1936 and 1946. In speaking in tongues, this logo is emblematic of the Wallflower Order's belief that their point of view is a universal truth. Richard Nixon occupies a position of leadership within the Wallflower Order, and he is the a main antagonist in the film. His 1968 presidential campaign, based on a call for law and order, was a coded message intended to mobilize the wallflower order against the spread of just grew. This still shows police marching in parade formation, as they will throughout speaking in tongues. The police are the foot soldiers for the wallflower order. Their job is to contain, control, and eradicate African American just grew carriers. Now, this idea is central to the film uh, and was from the very beginning. Uh, but now I think it's taken on a, an added currency uh, within the context of the Black Lives Matter movement and uh, increased opposition to police violence. The next group of stills represent the initial outbreak of Just Grew. <laughs> I will use the optical printer to manipulate the halting herky-jerky movements of the zombies in Night of the Living Dead to make them appear as if they are just beginning to feel the irresistible urge to dance. <laughs> the tribal dance scene from Michelangelo Antonioni's film L'Ecclesa is another early indication that just grew is beginning to spread. 
Marlena Dietrich's hot voodoo scene from the film Blonde Venus indicates that the spread of Just Grew has reached near epidemic proportions. <laughs> okay, the third and final group of stills represents Just Grew at epidemic levels. Muhammad Ali is a Just Grew carrier and a protagonist figure seen here in his 1966 bout against Cleveland Williams, where he danced throughout the fight doing his famous Ali shuffle several times before knocking out his opponent in the third round. The next deal features Jimi Hendrix as a Jess Grew carrier, burning his guitar at, at the Monterey Pop Festival. With the optical printer, I will make the flames from his guitar appear to blend with the flames in a Haitian voodoo ceremony. A voodoo ceremony in Haiti indicates that the Jess Grew virus is now at the height of its power. Second line dancers in New Orleans also show that Just Grew is in full effect. And these soul train dancers are completely <laughs> overtaken by Just Grew. <laughs> this summer, I will shoot exposure tests on the optical printer and commence work in earnest while gathering additional images and sounds. My goal is to premiere the film in the spring of 2017. What I need are venues for the work at film festivals, galleries, and museums, and I also need uh, 16 millimeter clips of footage such as Jimi Hendrix burning his guitar in the film Monterey Pop, uh, the tribal dance sequence from the film uh, L'Eclisa, home movie footage of people dancing in the streets at block parties, a documentary or home movie footage of New Orleans second line dancers at a jazz funeral, uh, Richard Nixon's Law and Order speech, or even just the audio from that speech, and Richard Nixon talking on a telephone. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>